Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a super sick looking logo for your YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, whatever you want. You just have to choose the right dimensions for it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so once you're in Photopea, all you want to do is click on new project. And I'm going to go with 1600 by 1600 just because it's a square and it's a big square. So let's just hit create. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find some backgrounds. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use some from Google. So we're going to be combining a few different pictures. So the first one right here is a gradient particle background. Just look up gradient particle backgrounds and you should find things that look like this. I'm just going to copy this and bring it into my project by clicking control V. And now if I hit control alt and T, you can see boxes pop up. If you grab one of them, you can uh, expand it. If you hold shift while you do it, it won't warp. Hit that check mark once you're done. Here I have another one. I'm just gonna copy that, same process. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on this background layer and drag it above this one. And I'm just going to change the blending mode on this to screen. So it looks like this. And if I hide it, you can see the difference. So it's pretty important that you layer them. It looks really good. So select your type tool and I'm gonna type in Z and I'm using the commando font. So C-O-M-M-A-N-D-O -M -M if you're interested. Now what we're gonna do is make the text a little bit bigger. So go ahead and select that. I'm gonna type in like 600 just so I can actually see it. Now if I hit Control Alt T and hold shift while I drag it, I can make it bigger like that. So I'm gonna make it about uh, that big. I'm gonna hold Alt and grab this one and shrink it like that and then pull the sides out. And then I'm gonna go to the corner and tilt it a little bit. So it looks like this. I'm actually gonna change the color to white. So go up there and now we have it as white. What I'm gonna do now is take a little chunk out of it. So first, right click on your text and click rasterize. Now we can work on it. So go to your lasso select, right click on it and choose polygonal if it's not already selected. Now I'm just gonna click here and then move my mouse down, click here, click here, and then just select a little portion of it and hit delete. And now you can see it took a little chunk out of it. It looks pretty cool. So now what we're gonna do is add some effects onto the text so it stands out a little bit. I looked up gradient grungy metal background to get this right here. I'm just gonna move that on top of the text like that and then right click on it and click clipping mask. So now it's on top of it. And I'm gonna change the blend mode on it to luminosity. And I'm gonna turn the opacity down to like, I don't know. We'll do like 40% for now. And uh, now what we're gonna do is find a gradient background. So here I have this one. Or you could even make your own, which I'll show you how to do that later. Control V, paste it. Same process as the last, right click, clipping mask, and now change this blending mode to luminosity as well, and turn the opacity, or just move it below this layer. Now what I'm gonna do is add a gradient so the text looks a little bit better. So go down here to your new adjustment icon, and go to gradient fill, change the angle to 90, click on this gradient box, and change the black to blue, or whatever color you're going for. Hit okay, hit okay. Now. Right click on it, create a clipping mask, and you can turn the scale down a bit if you want, or you can drag this white box like this. So it's kind of like that. You want it to be at like the bottom of it. And you can even turn the opacity down on it if you don't want it to stand out as much. So I'm just gonna do that twice. So create another one. This time change the angle to like negative 100, like that. Do the same thing, change it to blue. And then let's change, make it a clipping mask first off. Drag this white box over. And then turn the opacity down on it a little bit. So it looks like this. Let's do the same for the other. Do some tweaking until it looks good. Okay, now I'm done with that. Now what I'm gonna do is look up light dust particles. And right here I have some, it looks like this. I'm sure you've seen it before. I'm just gonna copy and paste it into here. Control-Alt-T and drag it. 
to where it's bigger. Hit that check mark. Now change the blending mode on this to screen. So you can see the difference. Okay. And I can even turn the opacity down on it a little bit if I want. Up to you. And now what we're going to do is we are going to add a little light spot behind this Z. So it stands out a little bit more. So just go down here and create a new layer right below your Z. And select your brush tool. We're going to go with a pretty decent size. So if you hold alt and right click, you can drag your mouse up to make it, you know, not as harsh or right to make it bigger. So we're going to make it big and then up to make it softer like that. And now make sure this top box right here is white. So when you click, it creates a light spot and you can turn that opacity down a little bit. Okay, now it's starting to look kind of washed out, but we're gonna fix that right now. So go to your top layer, click on it, and then go down here to your adjustment layer icon and click on curves. Now we're gonna go up, barely up on this line, and then just down on this line quite a bit, like all the way. And you can even go up on it if you want, but it might be too bright, or you can go down, left, right, whatever you wanna do with that. Now what I'm gonna do is add a brightness and contrast one. So add that contrast a little bit, turn the brightness down a little bit. And the last one I'm gonna be doing is exposure. I'm just gonna turn the offset down a little bit. Okay. So now we can turn that light spot up a little bit more if you want, or you don't even need it. It just, it makes it a little bit easier to see. So the last thing I'm gonna do is add a light spot above this whole thing. So go to your top layer before the adjustment layers, create a new layer, get your brush tool again, and then just click again. It should have saved your settings. So now it looks like this. You can turn the opacity down on it a little bit if you want, or you don't even need it at all, but it's kind of nice. I like it. So you can see with it and without it. I kind of like it with it. So we're gonna keep that. Okay, so here's our final product. I think it looks pretty good. Now just go up to File, Export As, PNG, and 100% quality. But if it's too big, just make it 99% and it'll shrink it by a lot and not lose much. So just save that and you're done. Now let's just say you don't wanna make that logo, it's too hard, or you just don't wanna spend a bunch of time on it. Well, there's a website called Place It, and basically they have tons of free templates that you can use to make logos, uh, outro screens, intros, like there's literally everything on this website. So the logo section in particular would be good for you probably because you're watching this tutorial. But as you can see here, there's a ton of cool like mascot looking logos that are super easy to edit. All you do is just click on the one you want and you can change everything with just a click. So you can see on the left, there's your text and you know, Green is not my favorite color, so I'm gonna change that to like blue. And the background's gonna be blue as well. And also the accents are gonna be blue. So everything's gonna be blue, including the text, because blue is superior. And let's see what else we can do here. So uh, you can even change the logo if you want. So like the mascot you can see here, it's like a skull. You can change it to like any of these other ones that look really cool. These probably take a ton of time to make, so they're super easy to get. So let's go with, uh, this guy looks scary, so we'll go with him. And you can move up the text. And you're basically done. You can just add particles. You can remove the particles. Just a gradient. Uh, completely up to you. It's super easy to use, and that's why I love it. And once you're ready to download it, just click free download. You'll want to do that. You'll just want to sign up, and then you can download it and use it. So it's super easy to use, guys, I'm telling you. I used this back in the day. Um, they have everything, so definitely check it out if you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I make a ton of other videos like this, so if you're new, definitely check those out. And that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.